Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Shadow Man, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, after five doors to choose from, I think I'm gonna go with this one over here. Ooh, nice chanting, I like that. That's the uh, Lizard King, I believe. But if you go this way, I believe you can take out three bosses. Because you're going into one place. That's so massive, it holds three of the five. And Jack the Ripper is in one place, and I believe there's another one in a whole different place altogether. But the Gardell Prison in Texas holds three of them. Which is good, That's, that means I only need three retractors. Really? That's all? And you have to use the retractors to get to all five of them, at least. Okay. Uh, use number one. And press the action button, and here we go. Remember, you have to be Shadow Man to survive in this place. Otherwise, you're screwed. Okay, Gardell County Jail in Texas. Alright, let's go do this thing. Look at this place. I mean, the sirens are going. There's total mayhem. There's headless corpses and everything. This is one hell of a prison. Right, Texas did have the express lane for death penalties, after all. And some of these headless zombies will actually try to attack you. So be on your guard at all times. Like, you can tell if they're going to attack you just by them shaking. Some corpses you can actually blow open just to see if they're safe, and others you can't. Yep, here we come. Might as well test out the shotgun for a little bit. Though I probably won't be using it much. There's plenty of spots for ammo. If I choose to use it. I really like the music here. It's super catchy. Some of these headless uh, prisoners or god the guards for all I care. Will either have billy clubs or well in this case behind me, shotguns. Actually, two of them get shotguns and one got a billy club. Start exploring this big room. I love how they try to hit you even though you're clearly far away from them, but then again, they have no head, so how can they know? They know nothing. They have no brains. They're probably in the next room. Oh, that one's safe. Yep, it's still night, of course. Pitch black. Okay, they're not gonna do anything. Some of them won't do anything unless you do a certain trigger. Huh, this looks like some kind of card key. With the hand still attached, of course. Uh, that's one very ugly hand. Okay, now they're gonna start attacking. Well, at least one of them is. Remember, you have to activate these consoles to go further. Who wants din -din? Some human sashimi for the win. Accepted. You lose. I win. Okay, I don't have to worry about Dark Souls because the only place you can actually find the Dark Souls are from the bosses themselves. Once you kill any of the five, you'll get their Dark Soul. So in other words, the only thing I need to look for here is Kado and probably some other stuff too that we'll deal with later. 
Get to the chopper! Nope. In this game, the chopper gets to you. And that's no good. So, try to keep moving. Because you cannot defeat the chopper. It will try to shoot you. Infinitely. So, your only option is just to move. Like, don't stop for anything. Okay, what the hell's over here? There must be a way to open this. Oh, just another schism trace. That's if I use the ones that I didn't need the retract before. We'll deal with that later. Oh, you're up. Apparently there is something special over that way that caused you to awaken. But yet did nothing when I was right next to you. There, I unlocked the door somewhere. Oh, it's just back here. Uh, any other barrels I can destroy? Nope. I did get everything there, as far as I know. I'm gonna go this way. Uh-oh. You're starting to stir. I don't like that. Ah, execution style. I feel right at home in Texas. Girl. Okay, I might as well point this out now, because I know somebody else will later. What is a black guy doing breaking into prison? Offensive, I know, but I mean, think about it. You know somebody's gonna bring that up. Not really, now. In Texas, of all places, what chance do you have surviving as a black person breaking into prison in Texas? I mean, that's gotta be one of the most redneck states of knowledge, really. Well, I don't believe that, but it has a reputation of it. I'm just pointing at reputation, that's all. That's not my personal opinion, that's just the way it is. But I'm not Mr. PC. Give it a break. You're looking at a guy who said a lot of offensive shit on YouTube already. Up, I should have enough for another health extension. Oh, I thought I heard choking, meaning an enemy was stirring. But I suppose they'll be stirring now. Oh, you're up already! No time wasted for you, man. Go back to bed, mister. Oh, Mr. Billy Club. Okay, don't bring a Billy Club to a gunfight, because you know what's going to happen. But really, do I have to tell you? Oh, shit. Oh, you're up, too. Everybody just wants to get up now. Good for you. Now you get back down. I mean, when they're stirring, as soon as I shoot them, they pop back up instantly, like it's an episode of Family Guy. Like, no transition whatsoever. Let's just get up right now. But really, in Family Guy, it's mostly just getting down as fast as possible, rather than getting up as fast as possible. But you get the idea. Okay, that makes no sense. Here. Hey there, brother, yo! What's happening, my man? What? Hey, 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 so, brother, it's good to see you. Come along, raise the party, but hell, it's gonna be worth it. I'll take you to that. I haven't come for a party, mister. Can't back out now. Clock's ticking and your number's coming up. It's one by her side. It's echoed by Crunch Cal, the damn. You 
crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. Woo! It's the end of the world stock hop. The apocalypse prom at Marco's Yard. You're on the guest list, Mikey. And little Lucy's coming, too. He's got the best... boss just got a little bit weird and for some reason we're playing 70s porno music. No oh, wait, that's the uh, wrong one. We might as well go to Nettie's file so I can get some information on this bitch. Where is he? Report number two. Marco Roberto Cruz. <laughs> he was born in Nevada, by the way. <laughs> Scars and marks. I got tat lover boy tattooed on knuckles on both hands. From February to November 1996, Marco Roberto Cruz kidnapped and murdered 10 people, preying on couples mainly in and around Death Valley in the Mojave Desert. The following symbol is found near each victim. Very ugly looking figure, by the way. The following poem was also found near each of the victims. For in the western deserts he, he finds a form, he is the child with the mouth of blood. The bleakness before the beginning of time, he is the glint of ice in a murderer's eye. The savage heart of every crime, for we are many. Of course, I'm you of Legion, by the way. Ironically, Cruz actually worked as a repo man for five years. He also worked as a DJ and had an auto shop business at one time. Served seven years for armed robbery and aggravated assault. No previous convictions for homicide, but was implicated in serial several killings. With lack of evidence to convict, it is not known whether it is among the inmates among involved in the riot at the jail. Okay, and that's the end of him. So, let me get my pistol back on the Z button and my insane on B. That way I can avoid getting shot too many times. Yeah, come get me now. So apparently this guy has pretty good aim. So, don't underestimate him. He doesn't like to attack you when you got your insane move. And after a while, he turns into a zombie, which is a good thing. That means he's getting weaker. There's actually another weapon up there, but really, you're gonna risk getting shot trying to get it. Got him! There. Good thing, I could have used my shotgun at first, too. Eh, whatever. So it gets my magic back. Before I unlock the rest of these crates, why don't I go up there? Get myself a new gun. There we go. Now we got a little hand machine gun. Perfect. 0 0.9 submachine gun, which unfortunately has no ammo. Well. That is why I decided to get it before breaking all these barrels. So now we can try to get some ammo. Just some Kado. Looks like there might be only one in this room. Better than none, I suppose. There we go. I believe the submachine gun can only carry like 200 bullets. Which is pretty good for a weapon of that magnitude. It can serve you well, trust me on this one. I think when I run into another one of the five, I'll just use the insane with the uh, submachine gun, and once they're down, then I'll use the shadow gun to finish them off. Because you do have to use the shadow gun to get the final blow, otherwise, they just will not die. And that schism trace over there will actually take you to uh, back to the cathedral. In fact, in the cathedral, you can use one of the schism traces that you don't need the retractor for to end up here. But then we won't be able to get the uh, prison key. And you need it to get very far in this place. Okay, a lot of doors here that are locked. Safe to say, I need to find some consoles. Speaking of the devil. Okay, I can 
go that way, but what about the, oh, can't go that one. Sweet. Three kiddo. What the? There sure is some crazy shit going down here. Oh yeah, what do you expect, Shadow Man? There's always crazy shit going on in this game. You're not gonna expect like puppy dogs and rainbows here. Unless you're shitting out blood in your face. Then it will start to make sense. And again, a puppy dog shitting rainbows of blood in your face. I mean, that would make for a pretty awesome enemy in this game. In fact, it should serve as the final boss, in my opinion. Hmm. You know, I really miss playing air hockey. That was the shit, man. Loved it. Okay, your head come off. And now shall so shall the rest of your body. Okay, what kind of shotgun do you have to fire that many rounds at once? That must be some serious pump action. There should be another console. Perfect. Okay, now I can go this way. Then again, I was already here. Whoa. -oh. So I'm guessing a door must be unlocked somewhere else. Let's well go back and find out where it's at. Like, I know there was no door around here. That's a given. Let's keep looking around and... Okay, so safe to say I had to come back here. Otherwise, there would be no point for that enemy to start stirring. So far, I'm going in the right direction. Still am. Up here or something? Let's give it a shot. Which I shouldn't say around a chopper that's trying to shoot me, of course. It's not here, is it? Aye, yes it is. That's right, this place wasn't open before. I wound up in a different area of the prison. Hey, you! This is private property. What the hell you think you're doing? Hey, Hank boy? Hill. I ain't your boy. <laughs> Don't you get uppity with me. You trespassing on my property. I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, that's so. That's because you didn't arrive by the front door, did you? I don't need an invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You're gonna find that out soon enough. You're gonna find out what survival is all about. Just like a rerun of the NAM. It's Judgment Day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend. For we are many. Yep. Jesus, I don't need this bullshit. Bullshit. Okay, let's take a look at this guy over here. I hear he's a little bit nastier. Let's get... Ah, here he is, Milton T. Pike. Ah, born in Miami. Vietnam veteran from 71 to 73, Green Beret. Special Forces Electronic Countermeasures Expert. Dishonorably discharged in 73 following alleged assault on another officer. Upon discharge, worked as a TV repairman from 74 to 80, indicted in the shooting of his mother in 1979, but was acquitted due to lack of evidence. Joined American Knights of the Cross Survivalist Militia Group in 1980, 
1981 formed own breakaway splinter group Knights of the American Heartland, KAH, with fortified compound located near Eureka, Florida. The identifying symbol, the KAH, is remarkably similar to the cross spear symbol, C attachment 1C, found on stickers affixed to the videotape sent by the video Nasty Offender to various state police officials. KAH incorporated into National Militia Organization in 1982, with subsequent expulsion later that year following Pike's murder of 18 of his own militiamen with a rocket-propelled grenade. Nice guy, by the way. In 1991, was arrested following the murder of a hiker in the Cypress National Preserve. He escaped from custody, killing two sheriff's deputies in the process. Pike's whereabouts unknown from 1991 to 95. From December 95 to September 96, Pike murdered nine women, disposing of their bodies in numerous locations. Pike was known by the sobriquet Video Nasty Killer due to the fact that state police in all states mentioned above were the unfortunate recipients of videotapes showing, in horrific detail, the hunting down and subsequent slaughter of at least six of the above victims. The following poem was found nearby each of the victims. And lo, if war should have a face, this one of five would show that bleeding mask. Or mark. Yeah, that was mask. Ears pricked to savor every scream, teeth bare to strip the carcass wet, and tongue to lap that vessel dry, for we are many. Pike was captured by FBI agents in October 96, following a series of anonymous tip-offs the caller gave his codename as Legion. Three agents were killed and five wounded in the furious gun battle that followed. Pike severely wounded himself, eventually passed out due to blood loss, and was taken to the Dallas Memorial Hospital, where he remained in a critical condition for several days. Following his recovery, he was tried and convicted on 11 counts of first-degree murder. One of the FBI, FBI agents had sus subs subsequently died of his wounds, and is currently incarcerated at Gardell Penitentiary awaiting execution. I'll give him that execution myself. As with the previously mentioned offender and fellow death row inmate Marco Roberto Cruz, it is not known whether Pike is among the prisoners involved in the riot of Gardell. Photograph of cross spear symbol, there's the attachment there. Looks like a bunch of scissors, mind you. Okay, I think now I'll get the insane here, and once I get him weak, I think I'll use the submachine gun. I think I might want to get the shadow gun out. Oh, this guy got very good aim. Got him! Ooh, just one unit of health left. Shit, I didn't know I had that low amount of magic. Apparently I did. So lucky to be alive. That was close. I'm not gonna lie to you on this one. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop the video right here, and next part I'll try exploring this prison a little bit more. Maybe get some health and magic before I continue. But stay tuned for that. See ya, everyone.